Hey guys, this is Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another traditional piece and we are once again using watercolors. And this particular picture is a sort of part 2 or a companion piece to something I did like a week back. Though when I recorded this video, the speed paint, I did it right after I did the beautiful one. So yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, since I kind of spoiled it already. So we're drawing Fujimaru Ritsuka from Fate Grand Order. He is one of the selectable masters in the game. Uh, Fujimaru Ritsuka, also known as Gudao, is the male version of the master. And Gudako is the female version. So I did Gudako last week. Or I uploaded it last week rather. Since she's like the more famous master to be honest. And Gudao is sort of the companion piece to what I did for her. So to contrast what I did for Gudako, uh, which was very fiery and red and a very hot looking colored piece, uh, I wanted Fujimaru Ritsuka to be like more angular and cooler. Like if I used mainly reds and oranges for Gudako, I wanted to use like blues and greens and teals for Ritsuka. I'm calling Gudao Fujimaru Ritsuka because that's his official name in the Fate Grand Order First Order special anime. So since he has a name, might as well call him by his name. Though, arguably his name, Fujimaru Ritsuka, is somewhat gender neutral, I think. So they can both be called Ritsuka. <laughs> yeah. So earlier I was using the SH Figure Arts Body Kun doll to it's a posing doll, like the wooden mannequins, but it's much more articulated and you can see much more joints and it's more anatomically correct than like the wooden mannequin is there basically just to show you the proportions and stuff. Um Body Kun on the other hand has certain restrictions like how you can bend his elbows or his knees. So it's a bit more lifelike. And I bought that and Body Chan because I wanted to f see the figure in 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 three D in live in life rather, uh, I know I could take photos or use reference photos, but I like seeing how the shadows play and the angles play when I turn it to a certain degree or I want that pose exactly. It's just easier, yeah. So as I mentioned, uh, Fujimaru Ritsuka or Ritsuka's piece is more angular and bluish and cool toned. I'm using the same techniques I did with Gudako that I'm not doing any line art at the start at least though I will start up in the end with some watercolor paint but no hard pen outlines here. So we're starting off with the background and Sadly, I lost a good amount of footage here and there because a couple of things being the first one, I ran out of storage because I apparently had another speed paint in my phone and that took up space and I couldn't record for long periods of time. And then the other being, I accidentally recorded a normal video. Uh, you see, when I do these speed paints, I usually record it uh, with my phone. It has its like, speed up. The fast motion option so i'm using a samsung galaxy s6 so there's this fast motion i guess you could call it a filter a, a fast motion filter that allows me to speed the video up when i export it but i actually recorded a normal video in normal speed so that took up like one gig and a half of space so that also cut down like the space I could store it with. I didn't really notice my camera going off until like minutes and minutes later. So yeah. But then again, like you didn't miss out that much anyway since a good portion of this video is me working on the background. It's, it, it was rather tedious to do. Unlike with Gudako's piece that is very flowy and I could easily make the curves or it's, it's okay or it's easy to make mistakes and cover it up. With Gudao's piece, I had to be very 
meticulous with, with keeping myself within the lines or keeping it look geometric so that took up a lot of time not to mention unlike with Gudako's piece that the things connect and it's easy to spread the color around with Gudao or with Fuji it's since it's geometric and it's all cut up I had to keep within the lines and like ah <laughs> so that we're working on Fujimaru himself and it's it's very well basic I guess <laughs> So another thing I did to contrast Gudao from Gudako's piece is the way that they're posed. With Gudako, it was very action-y and Gudako was like catching a spell. With Gudao, it was more on like a very more passive pose. Like he's turning away a bit from the viewer and you can only see his hand but you don't really see him doing any kind of action with it that suggests like being in battle or anything. So. It is sort of deliberate that I chose this pose for Gudao, like in terms of contrasting to Gudako's piece. And I, I kind of remembered now since I, I, I just remembered it. I mentioned in Gudako's video that there was this thing that was funny about uh, Gudako and Gudao. So Gudako and Gudao was supposedly, according to some info around in the fake grand order here, supposedly is like the gender bent version of Tosaka Rin and Shiro Emiya. So, that being Gudako being Emiya and Gudao being Tosaka. Which is what I said, it was funny. So, I said it was funny because originally in Fate Prototype, which is like the first story that never really finished by Nasu, Emiya Shiro was not supposed to be male. Like, and, and Arthur, Arthur uh, Saber wasn't supposed to be female. So like, if you're playing the game or at least you're quite aware with Fate, you might have heard of Fate prototype and uh, so the girl, what is her name again? Ayase, I think? Or I might be thinking about Ellie, no, no. What is her name again? Dang it. Wrong. Anyway, uh, Shiro wasn't originally that dude. But he became that dude um, when they decided to turn it into a Edo VN. And for those who don't know, yes, Fate Stay Night, or the original Fate fran franchise, was an Edo VN. The prototype wasn't, if I read things correctly. So yeah, that's the funny thing, because like, good, uh, good the quote is the gender bend of Emi Yashiro. Who originally was female. <laughs> now I need to Google what his what the girl's name was. Um, prototype master. So the thing is, even Artoria Saber was an Arthur. So there's a design of Saber as Arthur, and he's like a special summon servant in Fate and Order. Like I got him in the Valentine's 2017. On JP at least, so it'll take years before it comes over to the English version. But that's a quick spoiler. Uh, Arch Arthur prototype is gonna be available in a couple of years in one of the White Day events. And I like I was I worked so hard for him that I yeah I, I wasted a lot of gems or SQs to get him. Now what was her name? <laughs> it's loading slowly because I'm doing video rendering. Not what's her name? What's his name? Uh, Ayaka, Ayaka, Ayaka Sajio, Sajio. Yeah, yeah. That's the the name of the original master of Arthur in Fate Prototype. Ayaka Sajio. 
So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, there's a lot of footage missing. Like you won't really miss much since I just um, added like the white speckles that I did for the Brutal Puppies as well. Uh, yeah, I didn't really miss much, miss much. So please like or subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these types of videos. I do a lot of fan art and what they call learn art in general. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.